Today, I'm going to be talking about Volk Corona and why everyone keeps saying it's underrated, but every single format it is never used. Now, let's go, let's talk about Volk Corona first. It's mainly used as a quiver dance set with um, quiver dance, heat wave, then you either have Terra Blast, or you have Bug Buzz, or you have Giga Dream. It stats. A very good special attack, good speed, good special defense, decent HP, and bad defense. So why is this mine being called underrated? Well, first of all, if you get this guy set up, it is a threat. But, even then, it's just a threat. It won't win you the game. Let's talk about one of the first issues. The most common team archetype is Water, Grass, Fire. So, we have Urshifu, we have Rillaboom, and we have Arcanine. Now, okay, let's say Volcarona is facing, is facing Urshifu. Urshifu with Terra Water and like a choice scarf next to tornadoes, which is very common with these say They can go, hey, I'm a set up rain dance, I'm a search and strike your Volcarona. If you Terra, okay. If you swap out, okay. If you didn't Terra, okay, we kill you. And if you Terra, the most two common are water and Grass. Let's say you terrestrialize into a water type. Now you are weak to Rillaboom in the back with Miracle Seed or Assault Vest, Grassy Glide, and Wood Hammer. And because of that low defense, you're gonna get killed by that. Okay, but let's say you turn into a grass type. Well, now you are weak to History and Arcanine. Well, then you think, okay, let's use Terra Dragon. It beats all three of them. It lets me get set up and sweep them. Well, here's what happens next. The most common Pokemon shows up and just destroys you. Even with the special defense boost, the Flare Mane's probably going to win the 1v1. Because Flare Mane... With 135 special attack, choice specs, which is, I think, arguably the most common set, or booster attack, uh, booster special attack, with Terra Fairy and Moonblast. You get outpaced by the most common archetype. And then you go, okay, well, what if I run a support mon with Fulcrum? Let's say. I run, uh, let's do Ogre Pond. I'm doing Volcarona Ogre Pond, and I can do the Follow Me with Volcarona. Well, it's like, yes, this could work, but spread moves are very, very common in this game. A Hisuian Arcanine. Of Terra Fairy, of Choice Band, says hi. The Urshifu, the Scarf Urshifu with Close Combat, says hi. The Rillaboom, with the Miracle Seed, says hi. Like, these three, even with Redirection, because of the fact that you have a, uh, Rock type using rock slide that has 115 115 attack and is usually banded. Urshifu, which goes through protect, defeating all all defensive play, having a move that both threatens the KO on Volcarona, pressures pressures the Terra, or with Arcanine and Urshifu can KO your redirection. Now, congrats! You have one quiver dance. But it's a 4v3 in their favor, 
and tornado says hi. There is so much tailwind in this format that unless Volcanora has its own tailwind, you're going to get outpaced by one of the most common archetypes. Well, then you go, okay, what if I'm not facing that team? Even though it's like the most common, what if I'm not facing that team? Well, let's look at another archetype that is really popular. Don Dozo. Don Dozo with Unaware and Leftovers with a defensive Terra. Let's say you're Terra Poison. Okay, Terra Poison, Don Dozo with the Tatsukiri with the Commander ability. Even with Giga Drain, who's winning that 1v1? Volcarana getting walled by Don Dozo is another huge issue for it. Because that means you either have to swap out the Volcarana, hope that your support Pokemon lived f uh, against the first two Pokemon, like if hope, hope your Amoongus lived, or you just say, I'm going to take the L and use a different team. Alright. That's like, those are like your three options. Okay. But let's look, look let's look at the positives. It's Armor Rouge and DD. Okay. Volcaran does well into Armor Rouge and DD. That is correct. So with Quiver Dance, you outpace Armor Rouge and DD. But who... Does better versus Armor and DD, Volcarona, or Chiyu. If you get crit while using Volcarona, you die and lose the game. Expanding Force cannot hurt this guy. Even if your Terrifier, Helping Hand, Choice Specs, Ar Armor Cannon, Armor Ridge, you're not one shotting Chiyu. And Chiyu gets Snarl. It gets Dark Pulse, which can one-shot in DD. And oh no, there's a Torkoal in the back. We get our boost to Heat Wave now. So yes, a Volcaron is well into Psy Spam. But why use Volcaron never Chi Yu is there? Volcarona is like the Shulk. There's so much potential into it, but in the end... Why not just use a different Pokemon, you know? Why not just play a different character? That's how I view it as. Everyone says it's underrated, but there's a reason why no one uses it. And I feel like that's like one of the issues with saying underrated. Like, everyone, most people just go over the plus lights. It has Flame Body, it um, scares Urshifu away. But, does it really scare Urshifu, right? If you Terra, oh well, flyer in the back. Like, Volcarona has a lot of potential. And I know what I just said with, oh well, flyer in the back. There is some flaw to that. I agree with that. But the general idea is there. No matter if you terrestrialize or not. Every single match, you are threatened. Even if... Even if I don't know my Volcarona matchup, it's pretty easy for me to find a win con. Like, um... Ooh, another big one. Snow teams. Like, Iron Bundle. And Nine Tails. With Heat Ran. Heat Ran... Walls Volcarona. But you want to know who doesn't get walled? By Heat Ran? To you. With Dark Pulse. Of course, Terra Fairy is annoying for it, but still. The general idea is fair. In order to get walled, they have to Terra. And usually to you, you have more offensive options. And if you EV it, right, you can live a Hydro Pump. You might live it naturally. I don't know offhand. But you could definitely 
have the potential to live a hydro pump. Like, I would much rather be a Chiyu user in this matchup than be a Volcarona user. And, like, even, like, earlier formats, no one was using Volcarona. Like, every, every regulation, someone uses it. But it never pops off. It might have, like, one good result, and then it'll die out again. Like, Volcarona is just the Shulk of EGZ. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little bit different. Um, but I was, after looking at analytics and the views of my most recent videos, I figured this would perform the best. And it just popped in my head. I was like, that'd be a really good video. So I wanted to cover it. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.